So that was my worst nightmare. It was either a snake had bitten her or the dog and or she'd drowned in the dam or like the waterways. We'd been here for maybe two to three weeks, so I didn't know the area that well either. And I was lawn mowing for about 10 minutes and I went in just to see what she was up to. She wasn't in, in the house at all, so I looked in the horse paddock and I looked in the, the shearing shed paddock where we are now and where the dam is. So I checked all the waterways that I knew of and she, I couldn't find her in either place. And she wasn't anywhere to be seen, so I had about 40 minutes and I had to ring the police because it was getting a bit worrying. We only had a few hours of daylight left. We probably were down to the last hour and they had to spot a plane looking for her. We finally got in contact with the neighbour that used to live here before us and he sort of knew the area a bit more so he'd come over to help and he ended up finding Charlize up in the second lot of sheep yards. It's probably around 2 k's from the house. <laughs> so she travelled quite a distance. She'd let the dogs off with their chains and she was um, just following them around so I don't know if she led the dogs astray or the dogs led her astray. So it's a bit of a guessing competition, but the other two come back. It was just her and the pup that didn't because the pup's head was stuck in the sheep yard. So she, just, she was just sitting up there waiting for the dog's head to get out <laughs> so she could come home. And being in such a big area, you don't know what place to look, to look for first. So from being inside to taking off, you could be looking in the wrong spot. So then that gives them more distance to get away. And that's in my case, that's what had happened. I'd, looking in the wrong spot and she'd gone in the opposite direction. Just with the, like the fencing, because the fencing around here is not that flat. Like if we'd owned it, we'd have like probably a colour bond fence up where she couldn't climb the other side um, or just other fencing that prevents climbing children. If the, the gates have latches to be locked or if they have like a dog clip to if they aren't child safety and they can flip them up or something just to have a latch or something where it makes it a little bit more complicated for kids to undo.